What's up everybody? Good morning. And it is a beautiful morning out here. It is day two, sitting in sixth place. Put up almost 96 inches of big brown fish on Cayuga. After making a late day move yesterday, that was the right move. Today, we're gonna gamble, even though it's cloud cover, a little rain, more wind. I've got these fish marked. I'm going all in on smallmouth. I'm not fishing for 10th or 15th or to cut a check. I'm fishing to win this thing, and I think the only way I can do it is, is smallmouth. So that's what we're gonna try today. Got a lot of different things rigged up. Brought my net today, hallelujah. <laughs> We're gonna try to catch these brown fish, get them in the net. Feeling really good about this one, you guys. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully the good Lord blesses us with a big day. Either way though, we're gonna have fun. by and saw that bed. Guys, we straight up panicked. Straight up panicked. Um, the wind was really bad down here. I couldn't even see a couple of my fish. I had a bad feeling about that. I'm gonna load up and go to a side of the lake that's a little bit more protected and should be a little bit more protected uh, the rest of the day. So making about a 30 minute run. I'm gonna be getting on the water the same time I did yesterday. And I only caught, I caught five fish yesterday, I think. Um, I got one fish now. I had a limit yesterday, so that's kind of the risk. That's part of the risk I was gonna run. I knew that it may be really tough in the morning to I try to get some fish, and it may be a lot tougher today, and I'm gonna have to really work hard to get these five uh, with the wind direction today, but that's okay, we're gonna go for it. Ooh, gosh, my heart's going a thousand miles an hour. I'm trying to calm down. These are these tournament jitters that Honestly, I'm thankful for, even though I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, I'm a bit of a hot mess. It, it's been a while since I've gotten really just jittery and everything for a tournament during a tournament. So it's kind of good to, you know, it's like you, you appreciate even the bad times and the, and the feelings because it means you're human, it means you're alive, it means you're feeling things. So I'm definitely, definitely jittery right now, but I'm gonna, Keep listening to music. I've got about 10 minutes left of the drive. I should get there and be on the water by nine o'clock. So actually an hour earlier, hour and a half earlier than yesterday. So all I gotta do is catch five. All I gotta do is catch five. All I gotta do is catch five. Dude, you don't have to do that. No, I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, I appreciate it, but. What's up? Oh, really? Yeah, what's up? That's awesome. Uh, I'll leave. You guys have a big tournament. I'll leave. Uh, okay. I can't tell you, I won't tell you what's here, but yeah, you, you can't tell me anything. Yeah, I've got, okay, I've got all of them marked. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go oh, dude, I appreciate that so oh, much. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. I'm, I'm kind of panic mode right now. What are you doing in that? Did you buy a new boat? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Good luck. I hope you win. Thank you so much. That was really nice. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate it.
19 and 3 quarter inch giant. That is a 22 inch smallmouth. <gasps> Look at that fish. Oh, okay, we gotta go. Oh my gosh, that's, that's my PB smallmouth. quarter that is five heck yeah what's that what where is it I'll go past it okay I'll keep I'll keep going I got I got some all along here so I'll get out of your way I don't think anybody's home Okay. Okay guys, we found one. Now we just gotta catch it. Oh. I gotta breathe. We got an hour and fifteen to catch this fish. We gotta breathe. And at eight. I'll get it to eat again. You guys, I stopped the GoPro there because that fish was hooked right there, right on the, on the lip, but on the outside of the lip and not in the mouth. Um, shed a few tears. That would have been a five and a half inch coal. Uh, it's 20 and a half incher. Um, but I can't, I can't count it. It wasn't technically, I watched the fish eat it. I set it and it was right here. I've got 50 minutes left. I gotta make a run to another set of docks and see what I can do.
one hour to try to catch this fish. Catch a big one. I honestly, God, do not know. If by the grace of God, and the fish hitting this fish, how I'm gonna get it out of here. Hey guys, gonna have to apologize there. I, I, uh, had a, I, I kind of, to be totally honest and transparent with you guys, after I hooked that 20 and a half inch fish, got it in the net and lifted it out and saw that it was hooked right on the lip but not technically in, I literally started crying. <laughs> I started crying. I just, I felt so defeated, so defeated. I had an hour left and found that monster, monster fish under a pontoon deal. And I, you guys saw what I was fishing. Like, I, I don't know what, I don't know what kind of business I thought I had fishing that. There's no way well, there was a way I was gonna get that fish out, but my chances weren't very good and broke my line. So it's hard when I, I literally caught my personal best smallmouth, but then I suffered two back-to-back, -back just intense gut punches. I mean, that that big fish I hooked, that would have cold, have been a five and a half inch coal for me. That, you guys, that was so huge. Um, it was really hard, well, the decision to, to listen, the decision wasn't hard, but it was just, the experience was hard. Um, it, it sucked. And, but as an angler, like sometimes those things happen and that's just part of it. So anyway, I still cut a check I'm, and I should be happy. I should. It's just, that was, that was a really tough one. That was a really tough one, you guys. And it just happened. So bear with me. It was just really tough. Um, really tough but anyway I'm going to awards we'll see how I ended up uh, having a 15 in my limit is gonna hurt pretty freaking bad uh, but guys I gave it my all I appreciate y'all so much like I did feel the good Lord today we're gonna pick G up from his ramp and head to awards hey guys what's up just wrapped up awards feeling a lot better. One of the things that I'm really proud of over the last several years is my ability to kind of rebound. And, you know, the first couple years I would have been devastated. Things that really did not go my way or things that just happened would really upset me or bad performances really just really get to me. You know, the last few years I've done a way better job. And even though I have those moments like today where I just, the, those two back to back, just absolute gut punches, you know, they, they, I felt defeated. I was able to pick back up and look at everything as a whole. And I got fourth place out of 135. I finished up in fourth. So, you know, even though I lost, you know, I didn't lose, but had to, I couldn't, I had to not count that last big fish I caught, which would have been big. Um, my good friend, one of my best friends I've known for seven years, won the tournament, super stoked for him. Had an awesome time all week. I love this area of New York. The, it's incredible, it's clean, the fishing's amazing. I live a very, I just, all I can do is feel, all I can think about is are the blessings that have been poured out over me and my family and my friends and our, our world and oh, ending the day feeling grateful. I'll take the fourth place, cool thing. I think I will be leading AOI by quite a bit. I have a first a fourth and a seventh. I've never won an AOI, so that will be really, really cool. But anyway, you guys, I wanna say a couple things. First of all, thank you so much for all the encouragement, all the support. I have to apologize for, you know, I I turned my GoPro off because I I, li I didn't know what I was gonna do. I, I just had, you know, I, I was so frustrated I didn't want my GoPro recording because oh, mostly I didn't want to go back and watch whatever was about to happen. I did just sit there and just shed some tears a little bit and that was it. So, um, 
Sorry for not taking you guys through all of it, but some things I need to keep a little, you know, some things I still like to keep personal and then some things I just don't want to go back and watch myself. So anyway, we're going to call Paul really quick and then the next few days we're going to stick around up here and continue enjoying fishing for smallmouth. Hi, Chris. Hey, Grandma. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I was... There was a lot of ups and downs in this one, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Oh, but oh my gosh, missing that one because the hook was in the wrong way. I know. It was, uh, it was just barely, barely out of the mouth. Oh, and then what about the other one? Then I broke, the one that got I, I, Grandma, I broke off a huge, huge, huge fish. Oh. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Grandma. <laughs> what was meant to be, I guess. <laughs> That's absolutely right. It went, it's your time, it's your time, and this was not my time. That's right. Yeah. Your granddad's right here. Let me say hi to him if I can. Hi, Chris. Hey, Pa. Hey, great tournament. You yeah. had two good days. Yeah, it was good. I wish I would have wish I would have got rid of that little fish. I, oh. But that's okay. I should be leading angler of the year. You're pretty far ahead, aren't you? I should be. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, boy, that was fun to watch the leaderboard. I know you guys I, are watching. Yeah, I just I I knew you'd call that one. I know, Grandpa. And, you know that 15 uh, three quarter. I and just, boy, sometimes things just don't work. They don't. Little things like that hook, you know, can really make a difference. But at least, uh, you know, Westerman won it, Jordan, but then that's good. It is, yeah. Boy, you guys put a lot of fish on the board, a lot of inches. Get them in the next one. I will. When's your next tournament? I don't even know, but I think we got a little break. We uh, will, Paul. Enjoy your time and have fun fishing, huh? We will. We love you. Love you, too. Bye, Paul. Bye-bye. All right, you guys. That wraps it up. Appreciate you all. God bless out there. Go do some fishing. Have some fun. Head up to Cayuga. Catch some smallies. It'll do this all good. And we'll catch you next time.